So, as Disney went through this transition uh, from hand-drawn to CG, I, um, I started asking myself, so, so what is drawing? Um, you know, if you, if you hold a pencil, it's, a pencil is the, the simplest tool of any that you could have. It, it's a little stick at the end, it makes a mark, but there's a line that goes straight down your arm connects to your heart. You take something that is hidden from others and you reveal it to them by drawing. I mean, for me, drawing is kind of like the seismograph of your soul. It's, it's taken the emotions and you, you put it out there so, so others can see it. You know, and I gotta say, I've got this uh, strange belief that um, when I'm designing a character, an animated character, that they actually exist before I drew them, which is a really strange thing, and I never would have said that, except that has been my experience. Like, for example, with the Beast, um, if I was drawing so many different designs for like six months, and finally my assistant came in and said, so what's the Beast gonna look like? I said, I don't know, maybe it's a little, it, it's kind of like this big buffalo head, and I had a buffalo head on my wall. I said, there's kind of a, a sadness to the buffalo, maybe because his head was on my wall, I don't know. But, <laughs> but there's this crest of a gorilla, which I really like. I had photos of gorillas, and the brow was very expressive, and the muzzle of this wild boar, the hair is going back, and the, I think he should have these teeth like a boar coming up there. And I, I like the, the beard at the end of a buffalo's head, though. That's kind of cool, but I don't know. But, but Bell might have to hug him, and he's got to have some softness. I'll give him the mane of a lion here, so I did that. And there's a combination of horns. I had horns from all different kinds of animals, twisting and curling, and I think it's kind of like that. And my assistant was standing here just like James is with the camera, that, that close. He's looking, so what's he going to look like? I said, I'm, well, I, I think there's something in this, but I don't know. Is Belle going to fall in love with that guy? This, this isn't going to work. I mean, it's, he's so ugly. And um, I'll, I'll make him friendlier. I'll give him cow ears. It kind of softens him a bit. But... The beast, there's a prince trapped inside, and the eyes are the window to the soul, and so you gotta see a man looking out from inside the beast, and as I was explaining that, I looked, I thought, that's him. There he is, I mean, it was like you recognize somebody you knew, and it, it happened just as fast as I'm telling you. <laughs> 